17 years old and a member of Lincoln School's Environmental Action Group. I'm here to talk. I'm here today to talk about why I believe Rhode Island should support the Green New Deal to achieve 100% clean and renewable energy in the state of Rhode Island. I see how pollution has disproportionately affected people of color in this community. More ethnic communities see higher rates of medical conditions due to pollution such as asthma, and it is something that affects communities across the country. The LNG facility being constructed in the south side of Providence is completely unacceptable and tells us that enough is enough. The Green New Deal moving towards renewable energy is something that must be done to protect these communities. To give them equitable living conditions rather than see them as expendable and choose to sacrifice their well-being for economic gain. Because we know that is not the only solution. Growing up with a single mother unemployed due to the Great Recession, I have seen how environmental racism impacts people in other ways. With our limited food stamps and trips to the food bank, I've experienced the struggle to find, um, sorry. I've experienced the struggle to have help, a healthy diet and to be able to afford fruits and vegetables under these circumstances. When trying to feed a family, the choice between a bag of lettuce or three boxes of pasta is non-existent. Families have to do what they can to put food on the table as often as they can because they do not have the luxury to seek healthier options. Not to mention the impact of food deserts and the lack of access to green space and gardens in urban communities. These issues I have mentioned are things that are affecting many in our community. We can no longer ignore these facts and need to take action when the opportunity presents itself. If not for yourself, then the, for those who are being affected in future generations to come. The Green New Deal also plans to provide job opportunities to the people of Rhode Island, which is a great step towards helping people combat some of these serious issues. I look to the Green New Deal in hopes that we will no longer ignore these facts and these communities and these communities and work together to put issues like these ones I have experienced to the forefront and push to make sure we include everyone in these steps to have a greener Rhode Island. I believe everyone has the right to healthy living conditions and food, access to green spaces and nature, and to not live in fear of the future and what might come if we do not take action. We must ask ourselves, if now is not the right time to combat climate change, when will it be? And who are we sacrificing with every second we waste contemplating this issue?